And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. I was driving into uh, West Lafayette and Lafayette up 231 this morning and ran into just some areas of very dense fog at times, then it went clear, then some patchy, then to the uh, dense fog at times. But right now we're down to a quarter mile at the Purdue Airport being observed there uh, about a mile and a quarter there at Crawfordsville, seeing some fog down toward Covington, Attica, far eastern portions of uh, Warren and Fountain County and even Benton County, but elsewhere seeing a decent condition. So just be aware, be cautious, watch out for those strobe lights on the buses this morning as you are on your commute. Uh, just leave yourself some extra space between you and others if you run into that dense fog. Temperatures though are falling. We're at 51 Lafayette, 49 Fowler, 50 Morocco, Rensselaer, Remington, uh, and 55 there, Newmarket in upper 50s to the east, 58 Peru and Galveston radar. We are all clear. You can see some clear skies to the northwest, just some mid high level clouds coming off of this system, really coming in uh, all this to the uh, north and east. So we'll stay kind of partly cloudy this morning and they get more sun as the system will continue to move eastward and we'll be left with sunshine pretty much all day. We'll have a kind of a westerly breeze uh, coming out of the south more this afternoon. 76 for a high today with a lot of sun after we get this fog out of here this morning. Now as we get toward tomorrow, it'll be a partly to mostly sunny day. Not too bad. We'll wake up back in the mid 50s and maybe an early sprinkle or two and not looking at a very big chance, but it will be warmer. Highs will be in the lower 80s, upper 70s, but a pretty decent day. Southwest winds gusting up to 20 miles per hour at times, not overly windy. But let's get to future cast and show you that most of those clouds again working off to the east here by 10 o'clock and then the rest of the day very quiet, very sunny. This is six o'clock this evening and then going into the overnight hours. Look at the storms to the northwest. We may see a couple of those sprinkles come in very early. This is 3:30 in the morning. Uh, the tomorrow morning for Wednesday that'll get out of here as that system will give us uh, some clouds to start out with Wednesday morning. And then we'll call it a partly sunny day. This is lunchtime going into the rest of the afternoon. Some peaks of sun here and there should again fairly be a decent day here for your Wednesday. Now looking at uh, going forward for Thursday, we should be warmer, but once we get to Thursday night into Friday, we could track a shower or thunderstorm or two, but the better chance comes in Friday. Notice the stronger storms to the west here. We'll get the remnants of that here by Friday late morning into the afternoon hours and then it'll pick up strength as it works eastward again, but then we'll clear out for Saturday and for most of Sunday in the future seven day rainfall from the National Weather Prediction Center. Really not much over the next seven days, maybe a quarter of an inch of rain for the majority of the viewing area. So not looking at a huge chance. There may be a few areas that will be greater than that with some of the heavier storms at times on Friday. Overall, though, fairly quiet. We'll stay pretty warm Thursday, 84, our warmest day there. Then down to 75 Friday, 77 on Saturday, and the weekend looks fairly decent, pretty nice, 76 on Sunday. And then we'll get back in the 80s with some more storm chances as we get toward the middle of next week.